Good leaders don't just stick to one style. They learn to balance between different approaches depending on the needs of their team. It's about being both tough and supportive, confident but humble and bold but careful. This balance can be tricky, but it's key to achieving success. This is called the dichotomy of leadership. Many leaders struggle to find the right balance. They feel pulled in opposite directions. Their natural tendencies may lean toward one extreme or the other. They don't realize that leaning too much into one extreme can actually create weakness, not strength. So, to find the right path, you must find your extreme. Great leaders need to detach from their ego. That doesn't mean becoming unemotional. It means staying focused on the mission, even if that means making tough choices that might make you unpopular. You must detach from your need to be liked or avoid conflict. Sometimes you have to make those hard calls and ruffle a few feathers for the good of the team. Taking ownership of everything you do and all that your team does is vital. When things go wrong, don't point fingers. See it as an opportunity to learn and grow as both a team and an individual. This means having accountability. This is also where extreme ownership kicks in. A core concept of the book revolves around leaders taking full responsibility for their team's actions. Success is a result of leaderships, while failure is lack thereof. It emphasizes that good leaders never blame their teams. They always reflect and ask themselves how they can lead and improve. This concept might seem contradictory, but the book explains its true meaning by showing that only with good self-control can you gain the freedom to lead effectively. By having disciplined routines, plans and processes in place, good leaders create the freedom to act decisively and strategically. The book provides effective problem-solving methods too. The core process it revolves around prioritization and execution. Deconstruct the problem into smaller tasks. Focus only on those that provide actual impact and results. Only then get busy executing the plan. By mastering this, leaders can focus their and their team's efforts on what truly matters. Effective leadership is not about micromanaging. It's about giving your team the autonomy to make decisions and operate independently within the boundaries of overall guidance. While a leader may delegate, they still take full responsibility and ownership. Decentralized command helps get things done quicker and creates an environment where talented team members flourish. Thorough planning plays a vital role. A good leader doesn't rush into action without proper preparation. That's where using and constantly improving checklists come in handy. Detailed plans ensure that nothing is missed and everyone is on board with how to proceed. The book proves this point by highlighting how in aviation, following strict checklists is what keeps things running smoothly up in the air and contributes to our everyday safety. Successful leaders also know how to communicate clearly and make sure their message gets through. When everyone understands the mission objectives, there is little room for confusion and chaos. A part of this is also to make sure everyone feels comfortable with speaking up during plan execution. Leaders acknowledge all perspectives and adjust and adapt. The book stresses that leading isn't just about managing those below you in hierarchy. It's also about effective communication with your superiors, those above you on the chain of command. Offer solutions. Provide all the needed information as to why they should consider your points while always staying respectful, proactive and following chain of command. Likewise, you need to support your leader in achieving the mission even if you don't fully agree with choices they make. They might have information that you are not privy to which dictated their ultimate choice. They see a bigger and fuller picture. This principle reinforces how important it is to understand and accept distinct roles and fulfill their role's responsibilities thoroughly. In essence, the book encourages approaching everyday challenges utilizing this mindset. Break away free from blaming circumstances and instead 
control everything you can control to reach your goals. By concentrated effort and constantly improving processes, you will be well on your path to success, whatever your goals may be. This has just been a peek into the dichotomy of leadership and its principles for creating stronger, more effective leaders. Every example, whether military combat or everyday business scenarios, illustrates its points. Want to explore the concepts further? What is your take on extreme ownership?